Smart glasses like this has been widely considered as the next revolution in consumer electronics. And with AI at its back end, it's probably true. Here at the World AI Conference, AI is revolutionizing many fields. Chinese tech giant Alibaba seems to be betting big on smart glasses as the next major wearable. Not only are they providing cloud services to companies like Rayneo, but they've also jumped into the market themselves with the new Quark AI glasses. Over at Baidu's booth, the start of the show was their one-sentence website builder. This isn't your typical AI coding tool. You just give it a single prompt, and it generates an entire functional website, both the front-end design and the back-end infrastructure, all running live on Baidu AI Cloud. Uh, tech has launched an upgraded version of its X1 model. It now supports over 130 languages and features real-time interpretation. The recent shift in geopolitics have made many people believe that China and the U.S. are rivalries in AI. But according to my experience, the real-world situation has never been that simple. Chinese companies and the U.S. companies, they not only compete with each other, but sometimes they forge deep cooperation and even rely on each other. Even this tension persists, American companies are still very present here. We saw major players like Google, Amazon, and Cisco. While their staff was camera shy, they made it very clear that they're not decoupling from China. On the contrary, they're actively trying to bring their latest services into the country. Google's AI accessibility projects, Amazon's AI agent service, and Cisco's AI data analysis were all major highlights at their respective booths. Finally, we heard from a diverse group of international experts who shared their valuable insights on the evolving global AI landscape. Um, it is very good that, uh, that uh, if we can even have three, four, five countries that are competing to know who will be the best, you will see that citizens from all different countries, they will work hard. So it is healthy, in my opinion, it's not a bad competition. Yes, there is competition, but it is short-sighted. Instead of uh, competition, from a global perspective, one should uh, really see uh, cooperation. The United States and China both have the same pressing challenge, which is um, that AI capabilities are advancing very rapidly and governance systems haven't been able to keep up. And I think that that's really important to have dialogue and platforms for collaboration so that if one country or some experts in one country come up with a safety or security solution, that everyone should be able to benefit from that.